Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having such an amazing day and if you're not then maybe this video can distract you or cheer you up or something. But there's definitely cat piss on this. Ooh, why did my cats hate me? Okay, and we're back. Same hoodie, no strings. So I feel like I just have so much to update you guys on and it's all just kind of like hypothetical updates, but they're updates and I love keeping you guys updated with, with what's going on in my life. So where do I even begin? Oh my gosh, my cat just attacked my foot from under the bed. First of all, it is freaking, I was gonna say the temperature. Ah, uh, hair in my mouth. It is freaking 81 degrees outside. Oh, I love me a good hot day. Summer is coming and uh, there's just so much to talk about, okay. First things first, I have someone coming to buy my nightstand, so I'm gonna clean it out. And I have so much just like crap I need to throw away. Let's just like get started here. So I'll probably just put everything that's in my nightstand in this empty basket I have. Oh, I forgot, I have all my Polaroids in here. I meant to hang them up and I never did. I have this magnet of me and my mom, look at this. So cute, she was my soccer coach for so many years. My motorcycle gloves, don't know why these are in here particularly. Oh, when I was designing my tattoo that I have. Oh my gosh, amazing. Some merch designs, interesting. Trash. <laughs> my journal. Oh, I have not been journaling, I need to get back on that. Sleepy mask. Oh my gosh, okay, this is a flashlight. Flashlight vibes. Wait, is it dead? What the heck? Okay, yeah, it's definitely dead, but it's also a taser. I need to charge it though. I have some stickers I need to put on my water bottle. All right, nightstand is clean. So for now, I'm just gonna use this as my nightstand and then I put some baskets under my bed. Look how cute this little candle is. I found it in my house. Let's light it. I love this, this lighter. It's a torch. Oh, I didn't do it. Ha. <sighs> it smells so good. So now let's do some life updates and like talk about what's going on. So, um, I guess we'll start with the biggest one, which you might be able to tell kind of what's happening behind me, is I'm selling everything I own. I kind of talked about this in my last two videos, but it is becoming more and more of the actual reality. So I don't have any for sure plans, but I want to be open and honest with you guys and you can kind of like come down the decision making process with me. But basically I talked about how I was gonna stay in this apartment until my lease was up in October. And then I was feeling really trapped and surrounded by things that just make me sad and kind of bring me down and so I was like I need to get out of this apartment whatever that means like I just need to leave so at first I was like well I don't know if that'll be possible I read through my lease with my landlord but I just went ahead and shot him a text like hey um what would it look like for me to move out early and I have the coolest landlord ever he's been such a great guy throughout this entire lease basically he said if you can find a new person to move in then I'm not gonna have to pay anything extra just the months of rent I live here that's really cool and awesome so that being said I I am thinking about moving. Actually, I am 100% gonna be moving in the middle of June, the middle to end of June. I don't know exactly where it's gonna be yet, but no matter what, I will be out of this apartment in the middle of June. I have decided that I'm literally going to sell everything I own and just go back to being like a very, not like minimalist, but you know, I just have my clothes, my cats, the essential cat things, um, the stuff for my kitchen. That's it, that's all I need, right? Oh, and like my electronics. It makes me really sad, but I've been selling a lot of my favorite furniture pieces and stuff. It makes me sad because I get really emotionally attached to items and it's a really bad habit, but I feel like everyone kind of does it. So it's kind of nice to just get rid of everything and start fresh. And I'm really excited when I move into my new apartment to be able to just buy you know, all new things, go for maybe a whole different style. That's like one of my favorite things about moving is every time I move, I try to switch up my style just 
just a little bit, just bring in a new vibe. Like when I moved into this apartment, I got a blue couch, which was like crazy for me. I never had a colored couch before. Sad news is I had to sell that couch and it was like my favorite couch ever. So yeah, I literally already sold it. Now I just have this boneless couch in here. This was the one that was in my studio. It like lays down and I'm trying to sell that as well. I'm trying to sell this, literally trying to sell everything, but I have like two months. So I'm kind of taking my time trying to get, you know, those asking prices I really want, um, get what I paid for it. Cause a lot of this stuff really was like brand new and now I'm selling it. So, so where am I moving to? You're probably wondering right now. The plan is I have a flight book to go to Houston, Texas, and I might be moving there. Um, I've always really ace. No box playtime right now, okay? I've always really liked the idea of moving to Texas because it is really warm there year round. And I lived in Dallas when I was in fifth grade. So I don't really remember what Texas is like to be honest. <laughs> but um, it just seems like a pretty solid, chill state to live in. And then also I have some friends that I've been playing games with and we've gotten pretty close and I'm gonna go visit them. They're like, you should move by us. I'm like, okay, well, like I'll come visit, see what the vibe is. But I've been looking at apartments and obviously another plus is that Texas is so much cheaper than Utah. It is ridiculous how expensive my apartment is here and just everything in general is here. So that'll be like two pluses to Texas, warm weather, cheaper living. So I'm really looking forward to that and hoping that I like it when I go visit. But if I go and I'm like, ah, oh, this isn't the vibe, then another vibe could be that I move um, either in with my mom or near my mom for a little bit, or I just choose a random place and just move and start fresh. I don't know. So those are kind of my options. And I feel like I get questions about this all the time and I know people are gonna ask in this video, why am I not moving back to Missouri? Like about my house in Missouri. I've mentioned it a million times. I'm renting out my house. I still own it. It's an investment basically. But I just don't want to move back to Missouri. Uh, one, my ex lives in Missouri and and two, I just really like being on my own and like finding independence and being able to find out who I am without like living around a bunch of people that have known me my whole life, like my family and friends from high school and stuff. It's just nice. I've always thought of myself as kind of independent and I like to be not alone. I don't like being alone, but just like figuring life out for myself, I guess. I like to learn from my own circumstances and mistakes or whatever you want to say. I definitely like the idea of that. Another plus about moving to Houston would be that it is like 10 hours from Missouri when I want to go visit and about 14 from my mom's, which is how far it was when I lived in Missouri. So that would be really, really great to live you know less than a day or two day drive from both my parents right now South Carolina is like a 35 hour drive and Missouri is like an 18 to 20 hour drive so definitely like not exactly doable like it is doable but it's not like oh yeah that's doable it's like yikes you know but a 10 hour drive I could easily bomb that out by myself or a 14 hour drive so I'm really looking forward to that and then my cats get a fresh start too they're like yes hello you guys want to live somewhere new so yeah, I have some apartments I kind of have my eye on and I'm really, really excited to do like an apartment shopping video. Those are always so fun to watch and just like a fresh start in a new city video and just like figuring out, navigating, like making friends and introducing guys to the friends I do have, all that kind of stuff I think would be so much fun. So that is my life update. <laughs> Ace is being absolutely adorable right now. He just keeps like rolling over on his tummy. Oh my gosh, I love you. This is also my third time living in Utah. I moved out here when I was 17 and I spent a whole summer here for that. And then now I'm like moved here for the third time. And as much as I love Utah and I wanted it to be my vibe and I love the mountains, I just don't think Utah is my state. I don't really like the like environment here and the mountains are really pretty, but almost makes you feel like trapped and everything is so far. And to get anywhere you have to drive like through the mountains, like to get to all the states more east. And I just think Think that's kind of annoying and even if I do want to go in the mountains it's still like an hour drive to just get up in the mountains so I'd rather live somewhere where like it's really pretty and feels more like open and free and I don't know how to explain and it's really expensive to live here and I just haven't really found my place or felt like I could really like be me in Utah so yeah I really appreciate all my experiences here and people that I've met here have been amazing but uh, Utah is just not my vibe which is crazy because I was definitely a Utah girl for so long my camera literally died so <laughs> that was great anyway basically I'm just saying like Utah isn't my vibe as much as I really wanted it to be you know so I'm hoping for new beginnings and a fresh start in Texas hopefully I'm really excited to start yet another new chapter in my life the best part about like doing YouTube full-time is that I do have the opportunity to pretty much be able to pick up and move 
move at any time I want and live anywhere I want. So even if I don't end up in Texas or settle down there, it's just exciting to know that I can always just go to the next place. Another thing I'm really sad to get rid of is this dresser because now that I moved it in here, it's like the best dresser I've ever had. It is so spacious and nice and I'm really sad to get rid of it. And it just matches the vibe. Another thing, like getting rid of this vanity, I probably am gonna cry when the person comes to pick it up because it's perfect. But I'm literally, so my plan with my move is my mom is gonna come here and rent an SUV. So we're gonna drive my car in an SUV and everything has to fit into that because moving trucks are ridiculously expensive, especially going from the West Coast anywhere more east because everyone is moving out of those big cities. So anywhere, either the coast in is just so expensive to rent a truck or anything and my stuff is not worth that much money so i'm just selling it all and i have to sell this bed which i'm really sad about i think i'll downgrade back to a queen size because i don't need a king size for myself <laughs> this kind of just ended up being like a talking video more than a vlog but sometimes those are needed little updates you know so as you guys saw i posted a video not too long ago saying like <sighs> how hard it was and like the reality of a breakup and stuff. I just wanna let you guys know that I'm feeling so, so much better from then. I probably had the roughest, like absolutely rough week, maybe week and a half of my life that I've had in a really, really long time. And I'm bouncing back from that. I'm feeling more like myself again. And I'm actually starting to feel even more exponentially happy and I'm really excited to figure out where life is gonna take me and who I'm gonna be and all that kind of stuff. I'm starting to feel really happy and like content with where I'm at. Another thing is I'm trying to wear my glasses more. So you might start seeing me wearing these more often because, so I'll give a quick story time. I was driving into the mountains the other day to go take some pictures with my tripod and my self timer. And I was like, man, mountains are really pretty, but I can't see anything. I was like, oh, I should probably wear my glasses I'm driving. So they were like in my car, I put them on, right? I was like, this is what everyone sees? Why didn't anyone tell me the mountains were so pretty? Like, I literally got a little teary-eyed because usually I just see like blurs. Like, I can see mountains in kind of detail, but I didn't realize how much detail you could really see if you actually have vision. So I, I wanna wear my glasses more often because the world is so much prettier with being clear and it doesn't hurt my head as much because I can actually see and everything's not just blurry all the time because I can't see far away. So everything's just like blurry. <laughs> Little blobs everywhere. Trees are just blobs to me. So that's a fun thing I'm doing. These are the glasses I wear like all the time. They match everything. They're literally my favorite. They're just so cute and simple. And I had this other pair that I just always kept in my car and I honestly hated the way that they looked on me, but it was just nice to know. I always had a pair in my car for when I was driving, especially if it's nighttime and I forget my glasses. I put them on the back of my car and drove away. They're in the mountains, crushed on the road somewhere. Managed. That was just like such a disappointing moment, but good thing I still have these. At one point I had four pairs of glasses. I now have one. So we are doing great. Wait, I actually think I have a clear pair. Yeah, because when I got these, I got two. So I definitely have another pair somewhere. I just don't know where they are. How do I manage to misplace them so bad? <laughs> Anyway, that's about my updates for now. Maybe I'll do a little vlogging later to make this video more entertaining. But everyone comment down below, tell me about your life and what's been going on. 